Okay, I am going to do a tutorial on how to trim uh, eye corners and bangs just so that uh, you don't have all that hair flopping over uh, into their face and they can see. Um, you sit, sit. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have a dog with a lot of hair on their face, so um, I can kind of give you the gist. And if you want me to find you uh, another tutorial on a dog that is closer to your breed, just let me know and I can definitely do that for you. Uh, so some of the things that you are gonna need are, um, are a comb. Uh, my comb has a tapered end, which is really nice for, uh, for brushing out this hair that kind of grows up in, in between their eyes, but it's completely not necessary. You just need a comb and a pair of thinning shears. Uh, these are at least 48 teeth. You want to make sure that um, that you get a pair of thinning shears with with uh, with teeth that are pretty close together, um, just because um, you'll get a nicer finish the closer the teeth are together. Um, if you're interested. Uh, just let me know and I can get you the information to uh, my grooming supply um, uh, wholesaler, the person that I get all of my scissors and shampoo and stuff from. Uh, he normally doesn't work with the public, but right now uh, during the crisis, he, I reach out to him and he's willing to, um, to take some online orders from my clients. So um, it'll save you a little bit of cash just because when you order from Amazon, it kind of they kind of jack up the price on grooming equipment I've noticed so um, all right so those are the things that you will need um, and don't break the bank on scissors uh, just because uh, um, I mean you're gonna use these so infrequently that um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for you to spend a lot of money on on scissors and you can get scissors you know in a variety of price ranges like from you know like 20 bucks all the way up to uh, I've seen thinning shears go for over $300 so you obviously don't need anything in that $300 price range I would pick something that's kind of between 20 and $40 and that will do just fine for you um, so let's see if we can get sit to an angle that you can kind of see. So actually I'm going to demonstrate on my face first and then we'll, you know, I can kind of show you where to place the scissors on his face. So, um, the whole purpose is you want to get all this hair that grows from the eye corner and kind of blocks vision. And then you also want all this hair that's gonna flop over in their face. So with the scissors, or with, I'm sorry, with the comb, uh, you just wanna make sure that you're brushing all that hair. So I start, you know, from right in front of the eye and you, you kind of take the, uh, the comb and you want to make sure you brush all of this hair up as flat as you can and I try to only get the hair that's like right there in the corner um, so you're gonna kind of create this little V right here in between their eyes so uh, yeah so, so you're kind of just trimming right here and that way this V is gonna kind of help push some hair up and out to like from from this visor area so you want to make sure you take the flat part of the blade and just trim all of that hair out and away on both sides and then you take all this other hair and you Brush it forward so it flops in their face, like so. Um, and then, so it's all brushed forward. 
And basically what I do is I draw straight lines and then I soften those lines uh, to, to make a curve. So in order for, for them to have some really good peripheral vision, I take, I take my thinning shears and I trim this way. And, and you're kind of going to kind of angle it. You don't, I'm just trying to think how I do it exactly. Yeah. So, so I would just kind of do it. So it's flat to the side of their face and you, and you make sure to just get rid of, you know, don't go super tight to the skin. Don't press really hard so that you're getting all the hair but you just want to make sure that from the side view you can see that eye so that they've got some peripheral vision on both sides. And then like I said, I brush it forward and I and I you know, I kind of use the middle of their nose as a guide and I and I trim all of this hair straight. And then I round out those edges so that it's um you know, it's it's soft and, and curved and makes the face look a little bit round. So obviously, you don't have to leave, you know, a little bit of hair, like a visor. So the, the closer to the eyes you go, the shorter this hair in here is going to be. But you want to be careful, especially if you're not grooming the whole head because you can they can look like they've got this weird naked headband if you trim it too short so actually i'm gonna come here buddy take these ponytails out real quick to get that hair that's in the corner of his eye on both sides and then you brush everything forward Let's make sure to flip the air up and out of the way and then you want to make sure to trim all of this hair here, right near the corner of his eye. And I can take some of this hair off. Just so you can see his eye out of the side, and you do that on both sides. And then depending on how long you want this, you're gonna trim straight across here in front. And then, you know, you can keep going around to soften that line on both sides. And eventually, you know, you'll have, you'll be able to see the eyes. But the most important thing for them to see is this hair right here in the eye corners. Like if you can get that hair out, um, they're going to be able to see and the rest of it if you're not comfortable you can ponytail it up out of the way or um, you can uh, trim as little or as much of that hair uh, with the thinning shears as you want to uh, to give them some visibility so if you have any other questions um, or you want that the information to my uh, my grooming supply person uh, feel free to text me I hope this helps